Greetings all, Adrian Perryman here from Events by MV DJ Services with my weekly video blog. Uh, today I wanted to talk about my top 10 wedding venues that, that I like. I've done about 100 and, 113 or so weddings in my time. Uh, various venues, there's been about 5 or 6 venues I've done multiple weddings or events at. But of the ones that I've done, these are my top 10 in somewhat of an order and it was a top 10 list but a lot of great venues uh, I sort of make my list based on just appearance and overall look of the place also I have a factor in there for how easy it is to set up as a DJ or a vendor to bring stuff in there that's what I like I have no idea how much these these venues cost so that's not a factor I, I was a DJ there I've, I've, I am married I only had one wedding myself which I was a, a part of the financing for and uh, so I have no idea other venues cost but my top 10 uh, the first is the Grave 601 Hotel in downtown Minneapolis this gets points purely for its its appearance and beauty the lighting it is, is it's a newer remodeled space so there's a lot of options with lighting and they can sort of do up lighting dimming in the ceiling and things and it just looks very beautiful it can be very large multiple ballrooms and everything else upstairs uh, it gets loses a lot of points for ease of setup. It's very hard to get in. The, the staff there were not the best. They it was a ceremony wedding to get everything in. It was a lot of complications and issues and things like that. They tried to help out, but it wasn't the best out. Otherwise, it looks beautiful. I'm assuming it costs a pretty penny, but it looks beautiful. The next one is Treasure Island uh, Paradise Cove up at Treasure Island Resort and Casino. They have a sort of a dome like bubble structure out in the back just very different I've never seen anything like it for a wedding venue with up lighting at the wedding I did um, it's, it's lights up the side uh, and things it just it's very nice and then the location wise it's just out in nature the this the wedding I did there they had the ceremony outside on the beach and just going outside it's like you're in the middle of nowhere in the forest and just very uh, peaceful out there the other, the number eight is the Depot Renaissance Hotel in downtown Minneapolis. I've done one wedding there. I've done a lot of other events there for other things, but one wedding. And I just remember the, the wedding just being very professional and nice. I just remember when everything was done. They had a ceremony. They switched it over to the reception. It was opening up, and it was just sort of a an awe moment of all the wait staff and, and just being there very professional. And it's just very old-timey and historic and a very nice venue as well. The next number seven is the Walker Art Center. I did a wedding in the Skyline room there. Just to, in general, Walker Art Center is a very nice place to visit. I did one wedding there in the Skyline room. It was just very it's different again. The architecture and uh, the white walls, and I did some uplighting on that too. The AV staff was very friendly and helpful. A lot of places that have, whether it's speakers in the ceiling or things like that, they don't let DJs touch or hook up to that because they're afraid it's going to blow up whatever there but they're just very helpful he was offering me cables to use if we had to be talking about my equipment and different things it's very helpful staff there laid back and easy going with things and then just a very nice venue it's a very different location I guess one of the themes that goes with my top ten list number six Harriet Island in downtown St. Paul another venue unlike other ones it's just e very easy to set up in as well uh, it's right on the river it has a playground and park outside it can get very hot in the summer, that's something to think about, but other than that, it's a very beautiful venue. Uh, the next is number five, Great the Great Hall in downtown St. Paul. This is where I had my wedding at. It's, I guess I'm biased there, I did one other wedding there as well, but it is another place, just very high ceilings and open space, very easy to set up. Um, being in St. Paul from St. Paul, so I'm, I'm biased towards that as well. The next, the Rochester Art Center in Rochester, it's another like a different place. It's good got all glass uh, walls around the whole place so it's very open and you can see everything uh, it just, uh, I just remember walking in and seeing it I've never seen anything like this before it's a very different venue uh, Rochester I've been there a few times very nice city as well number three TCF Bank Stadium it's another thing that you're not going to get anywhere else uh, it's a newer facility of course where the Gophers play football uh, it's a Gopher uh, football fan it's a dream I guess uh, they have multiple rooms as well to have ceremony in one space and the reception in another place. And then they're a lot, they sometimes put the 
couple's photos on the Jumbotron outside, and you can go outside and take photos on the football field and all those different things. So just very nice and another, again, very high ceilings and open space. They have it in the sort of the DQ room level. Uh, and just, it's very fun to be there, to be in the stadium uh, for that. Next, uh, Vadness Heights Commons in Vadness Heights. It's another one-of-a-kind venue. It's a newer venue. I like a lot of newer things with uh, architecture and stuff. My wife is very different, but I like the newer things. Another place with glass walls all around, so very open, so uh, there is sometimes trouble with that. If you have a summer wedding and there's glass uh, all around and windows and you can see through everything and the sun doesn't go down until 9 o'clock, it doesn't get dark, so I can inhibit things, but other than that, it's very nice, very courteous staff as well. They're willing to help out, very easy to set up, they're very to, able to pull my car up close. So the Vadness Heights Commons, another place. And uh, number one, uh, one of my favorite venues, I've done two weddings there, other events. I did a, a drag show back in college there. I was a DJ, I wasn't in the drag show. They didn't ask me for that, but uh, that it was the, the McNamara Alumni Center, the University of Minnesota, another place one-of-a-kind architecture, the very high ceilings, uh, has multiple rooms as well for its ceremonies and, and getting dressed and all that stuff, but you're not going to find another place like that with being able to put lighting on different spots and just the feeling of the room. It is very wide and open. It can uh, require some extra sound equipment and audio because it is such a large space, but it can host a lot of people and it's just a one-of-a-kind. It looks very nice. Another place that's easy to set up, uh, bringing equipment in and all those other things you need to do, but uh, that's my number one. If you have any questions about any of those locations, let me know. Uh, of course, I've done many other places. There's probably plenty of places that are beautiful that I've not been a part of, but uh, like I said, the factors I looked at was the sort of one-of-a-kind feel to it, the ease of setting up for me as a DJ, uh, and, and then just the experience, the staff and everything else that goes with it. Like I said, I don't know how much this place has cost. But uh, I had good times at all these listed and many other ones as well. You can check out my Facebook page for photos of other locations I've done at, and I'll uh, put some information below of the top ten list as well. So thanks again. If you have any questions, uh, check out the website, eventsbymv.com, or leave a message and leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you.